Okay, welcome back. We're going to do some Lyra weapon physics with chaos this time. Allowing us to do some very fun destruction. So uh, we'll give you a very quick rundown of fracturing in chaos. Uh, if you want to know more details on chaos stuff, you can find tons of tutorials out there. Uh, so let's create an object, go up to fracture, create a new geometry collection. We're just going to do some basic fracturing on that. And that is all done. Let's just give the inside of it a color just to make it a little more obvious. Uh, I always turn off show bone colors just so that it's uh, less annoying. The trick with Lyra, everything else is exactly the same as you would in anything else. In Lyra, we have to go in and make sure, just like before, our block all is set under collision presets. Now we should be able to just come into here. And that is destructible. So now, uh, how do we make our weapons actually break stuff? So let's go back to weapon fire here. This is what I was uh, doing just as a demo for you. We're going to load up our weapon hits that we've been working on in the previous ones. Uh, shift this over to hit result. Compile and save. Okay, so we'll open up our B weapon hits. So right now, this is just simply adding our basic physics. What we want to add here is a check on whether or not it is a chaos object. Chaos objects are called geometry collections. So we want to cast to geometry collection actor. I'll do that after it checks if it's blocking the hit. If it fails, it goes right back into checking if it's our physics, so continues what we had before. If that succeeds, we want it to spawn an actor from class. So now we're gonna have to create that actor to spawn. So we will create a new actor and we will go with a master field. Uh, master fields are a chaos actor. Uh, if you don't have them, you may need to go to your settings and enable engine and plugin content. Uh, okay, so let's name this F uh, Impact Master Field. So if we open this guy up, we get a very complex actor that has a ton of stuff happening inside of it. Uh, but we're just going to work on the top level of it here. The first thing we're going to need to do is set our delay amount to zero. So this thing goes off as soon as it is uh, activated. So it's currently got uh, apply external strain uh, cranked up to max. If you want to know more about this stuff, uh, again, go find some good uh, chaos uh, tutorials out there. I'll try to link to some in the description. The other thing we're going to want to do in this is set its life. Uh, just like we did before, we want its lifespan to be 0 0.01. Compile and save. Okay, that's all we're going to have to do with that. We go back into our weapon hits and we set that class. So F impact master. Okay. So now we need to know where to spawn this. So we're going to split our transform pin. Our location we're just going to take from our impact point here okay so that should be all we need to do to get a pretty decent looking uh, fracture Let's test this out but as you can see it's just kind of fracturing it's not really looking like it's being impacted by a bullet 
So we're going to go back to our master field here, go back to the top level of it, uh, get rid of that life. And we're going to look at the apply linear and angular velocities. Right now it's got a rad radial velocity turned on and that's set to 750. What we want is the directional vector. We're going to turn that on and we're going to leave that set to 120, but we're going to turn down this radial magnitude because you're getting impacted by something, not getting exploding, exploded by something, unless you wanted to do a, uh, an explosive round. So that's all we got to do in our master field here. So we'll compile and save that. We're going to go back to our weapon hits. Now we've got to get our rotation in here in order for it to know what direction that vector needs to point. So right now it's just pointing up. So if you remember, we'll go back here. We basically get our forward facing vector here. We're going to branch off of this guy. And from here, we are going to get pitch and yaw, or sorry, get yaw and pitch from vector. And let's just rearrange this so it's a little more obvious where that's coming from. And then we're going to split our rotation pin here, and we're going to throw yaw right into yaw. Let me just make sure that's right. Uh, yes. Yaw, go straight into yaw. Pitch, we want this to rotate by 90 degrees, because if you remember before, it was pointing up in our master field. We want this to add 90 degrees, and then we're going to throw that into our pitch. Compile, save. Now, when we hit something, it's kind of breaking more in the way you would expect if it was impacted by something. So that's that. I'll give you a quick preview of what's coming up next is grenades. These guys are an insane amount of fun on destructive stuff. So stay tuned. That'll be up in a minute. Have a good night. Thank you.